The issuance of distribution licenses to successor companies to the defunct power holding company of Nigeria, PHCN, brought high hopes to electricity users in Benin City. Five months since the takeover of electricity distribution in Benin by the Benin Electricity Distribution Company, some respondents said electricity has improved in their areas compared to what was obtainable previously. To be honest with you, I think there have been slight improvement. There have been slight, slight, slight improvement over what PSCN used to be. There is much improvement, but just that the bill is too much. Just the bill is the problem. They should bring down the, the bill. Others, however, expressed worry that since the takeover by the new investors, power needs of the people is yet to be met by the new successor company, the BEDC. This is Opalawani, a uh, new Benin as it. The light in this place is not as it used to be when uh, Nepal or rather uh, power the company take place. But now it's getting worse because they bring it 8 o'clock. In the evening and take it by 12. The, the next day, the morning, you know, you know, if I will not see light. For me, there is no improvement. If we are paying for it, we need to have the, uh, the things we are paying for. If, and also, I don't really know why they are collecting 750 as a, a VAT charge. And uh, uh, they, they don't service us for that. When the poll get, falls down, they want us to pay money for it. Since when they enter, they go they collect money, collect money. We know they enjoy the light. We they suffer for the light. And they want to help us. May the device come back up. May it come the normal size as it be before. We they suffer for light. We know they say, see, like, see my fridge now, it don't square. With the development, more citizens are acquiring generators by the day, despite its numerous health and environmental hazards. If you look at it uh, from the environmental side, of course, the fume that these generators produce, the noise that it generates, you know, are hazardous. Of course, notwithstanding or not talking about uh, the cases of explosion and choking, that had killed people at various times in this country. Assistant General Manager, Public Relations, BEDC, Mr. Curtis Mwade, said like any new organization, there is bound to be teething problems. He assured of the BEDC's resolve to meet the challenges of electricity consumers in Benin. There is a drop in the load uh, availability in Nigeria as of today. For a long time to come, we still keep on managing what we have. That is the power situation in Nigeria. It is not limited to Benin alone. Whatever we have in Benin, I think is one of the best in the country. Electricity consumers in Benin are, however, hopeful of an improved power supply as the days go by. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.